Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. And when we left it last time, we were in the, we were in the middle of a conversation with Karth. Uh, so the whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So Bastler is Bastler's going to escape. So if Bastler's going to escape Taurus, she's going to need our help, and we'll probably need hers. Okay. Um, our choices are: any idea where we should build I'll slow down. Our choices are: number one, any idea where we should start looking for Bastler? Two. What's in this for me if I help you out? Three. I think I'll take my chances on my own. Four. If it means getting off this planet, I guess I can help you find Bastila. Nope. The last two make me sound like a dick. Well, well, two. two. We'll see you again. You see, there's only one. Um, good option. All, all the others uh, are blatantly nasty. So we are going to go with any idea where we should start looking for Bastila. While you were out, I did some scouting around. You clever dick. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. Well, then, now. probably a good place to start. Yeah, yeah, but the Undercity's like a, a dangerous to place. To we don't want to go <laughs> there unprepared. That's and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. <laughs> now nah, we can just respawn. Um, okay, I want to ask you some questions. Uh, the sooner we start looking for Bastila, the sooner we find her. Let's go. Come on, I want to scout this planet out a bit. Um... There's nothing else to do. Let's ask him a few questions. Um, every character, every party member, apart from dear old Trask, uh, you encounter, um, they each have their own um, uh, character-specific uh, quest or you know, uh, or, or story to it. And so, if you talk to them, you ask questions at certain times, or when you go up a few levels or whatever, you find out more about them, uh, the backstory, uh, the history, and then you can then start getting a certain uh, character or party member related to quest lines, some of which are actually quite fun and entertaining. So there's going to be a bit of chatty uh, chatting going on here, but uh, I think it's kind of fun. So, I want to ask you some questions. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Well, it depends on how badly you've been written. Um, what have we got? What questions can we ask? Uh, ask? Ask. Uh, what do you know about Malak and the Sith, or what can you tell me about this planet we're on? I'd like to know some more about you, Karth. Uh, let's go for the first one. Uh, what do you know about Malak and the Sith? Well, everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. Uh, no, he I don't know it. the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. Ooh. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience like shown Unicron that is. the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Mm -hmm. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. <laughs> oh, poor sweet innocent Karth. I have two words for you, Anakin Skywalker. Uh, don't drown the little fucker at birth. Um, anyway, uh, a Jedi? What do you mean? Because I'm an idiot. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order. <gasps> Drama! They were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Ooh. Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Uh -huh. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. I don't they know. The forces of so Wait, ex Republic what? soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with <sighs> Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. Ooh. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. Well, that was clever, he took right? control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. <sighs> Bastard. Uh, I want to ask you something else. Don't worry, we'll find a way to stop the Sith. Sounds like Malak and the Sith have the right idea. Let's massacre these peons. <laughs> uh, the sooner we start looking for Bastard, the sooner we find her. Let's go. Um. I want to ask you something else. I'll tell you whatever I can. Yeah, though I, I, I yeah, yeah, blah, 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 we know. Um, I'd like to know some more about you, Karth. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. Yes. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Okay, then. Um, and finally, what can you tell me about this planet we're on? Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. Ooh. That was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is is still pretty safe. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But so farther down, things have degenerated. The, 
The lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, Ooh. waging a never-ending war for control. Nice. And the undercity is... Well, it's even worse. Oh, the God, lowest level of terrace is a wasteland overrun by raccoons. Ooh. Mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. Mm -hmm. I've already entered all this info into your data pad. Oh, that's very kind of you, sir. Um... Well, there we are then. That's it. So, we will. The sooner we start looking for Bastila, the sooner we find her. Let's go. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can. We can probably get some <laughs> equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. Low profile. Yeah, stories I'm gonna be... about the Dark Jedi Sorry. interrogation techniques. Ooh. They said the Force can do terrible things to a mind. Can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Can but it I now? figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. That I mean, was an all, interesting thing to say, Carl. Not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Grunty, <laughs> I won't take any um, offense to that. Um, ooh, it's a locker or anything in it? Ooh, well, we'll take those. Um, okay, so we picked up a vibra we picked up a vibration cell, as you may or may not recall, uh, on the end of spire. So we, yeah, yeah, blah 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 blah. We're going to use a workbench to upgrade. Our melee weapons, specifically that, and we can add a vibration cell, um, which gives a plus one to physical damage. Um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try not to do this too often, but I just think it's worth noting that um, whilst the uh, crafting, if you like, uh, in this game is fairly basic, um, it is uh, a bit more. Uh, Involved in uh, the sequel, um, or at least with the uh, store content mod. But nevertheless, we're going to add our vibration cell. Click assemble, and uh, we haven't got anything to upgrade uh, <laughs> a lightsaber or any ranged weapons or armor with. So we're done. And oh yes, it's my sword. Uh, all right, to the apartment complex. Yes, I know. Right, so, oh, that is. Yeah, that's useful. Right. How do we go? Right, you oh. alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. Come on. Really? An Englishman? Sorry. There was a pro troll here just yesterday and they found nothing. Why do you just keep bothering us? He's speaking again. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! My goodness, that was awfully specific. Sorry, as, um, yeah, obviously I'll narrate the, uh, alien language, um, text as best I can. Um, but... <laughs> you know... Just because George Lucas had Peter Cushing um, as what was the Governor Targ? Well, it's technically Grand Moff Tarkin, isn't it? Um, in the original Star Wars, yeah, it doesn't mean the Empire, the whole of the Empire, has to be English. I mean, ugh. Ah, well. On the other hand, maybe I should be. Um, so what I'm looking for here, be, I should be honoured. Yeah, I should be honoured that um, even in a even a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, the English are still badass enough to um, conquer the galaxy repeatedly, and then lose it again, and conquer it, and lose it, and in a never-ending tide of well, war and stuff. Okay, so uh, let's kill this annoying dude. Hey. Oh. You kicked him in the head before. Oh, I give up. Yeah! Probably a skill he should never have talked back to that sick. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us, Chu. Indeed, you were lucky. Oh, this isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully, it will be the last. Won't someone come searching for this patrol? I'm, I'm just glad I could help. Stay out of the way or I'll kill you too! Blah. 
uh, we will go with. Won't someone come searching for this patrol? Because that's a very sensible question. Don't worry about the bodies. I will move them so it looks like they were killed elsewhere. That should throw the Sith off the track because the Sith are idiots. With any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. Alrighty, but not before I have looted their corpses. Ooh, a blaster rifle, frag poison, and some uh, drill buffs. Ooh, and a leveled up. Doink. Yay. Yeah, I get excited when I level up. Oh, well, up persuade. Woot. Oh, hold on, cancel. No, go back one, sorry. Um, okay, we'll put, I'm going to put another point into Persuade now, and then the next, and I'll save up a couple of points and then start building up Repair a bit, because, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Anyway, Feats, yes, I said I was going to get two weapon fighting, but I lied. No, I didn't. Um... Is that another weapon? Okay, the next time. <laughs> um, yeah. Weapon focus melee, and then next time I'll get to weapon fighting. Okay. We'll accept that one. Uh, oh! God, that took a little longer than I thought. Two and a half minutes by my watch. Um, actually, that might be a convenient moment. Alrighty, so oh, that's it for now. Prepare for manual launch. Go! Ah! So a manual launch means he just runs out of a hangar bay? Mm -hmm.